All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. In this video, IOG signs a contract with runtime verification. Also, we've got some updates as far as Gogan. Recently, Charles Hoskinson came out saying that we will see a roadmap for Gogan to be released at the end of October. Going over some details regarding that. Also, taking a look at this partnership with runtime verification. So Cardano smart contracts running on the Yella VM. I wanted to go ahead and share some information regarding that. Taking a look at a blog post from IOHK's Gerard Moroni. Also, as it relates to Ethereum, some of the most popular programming languages and how that relates to the ERC-20 token converter that we are working on with Cardano. So we can see some of the dApps that have gained most of the market share as it comes to these lending protocols and DeFi applications on the Ethereum blockchain and what that is actually going to do when we actually start to port some of these projects over onto the Cardano blockchain. So if you all are interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. So to get things started, recently Charles Hoskinson came out in his latest AMA giving some details about the contract that his company has signed with Runtime Verification. So now with Runtime Verification, they were essentially working on the Yella VM. In his AMA, he gave some details regarding the signed contract with Runtime Verification, saying that they have been brought back into the picture. So it is a seven-figure contract, and what they've been tasked with doing is developing this Yella VM. So the idea behind the VM is that developers can write dApps in one of the popular programming languages and then convert them using Yella so that they can be executed. It is also supposed to support Ethereum Solidity programming language, making porting dApps from Ethereum to Cardano extremely easy. According to Charles, in his update, he said, so I signed it. It's a seven-figure contract. We're bringing them back into the fold. We're going to do a bunch of cool stuff there. I will make a dedicated announcement at a later time about specific deliverables and what we're going to get out of it. But I figured I'd just share with you guys some really good news. So yes, that is some incredible news. I know this is big because we're talking about all these different things, especially now we are ramping up for Gogan. Developers are starting to really look at these blockchain protocols and figure out which one is going to be supportive of their ideas in the long term. So very excited to see that. In regards to Gogan, so he did also give an update on what we can anticipate as it comes to an expected roadmap for the release of Gogan. Now, essentially what he did, just to kind of briefly paraphrase it, he compared this release of Gogan to that of Ethereum, talking about how their smart contract model has evolved over time. And it's not simply a cut and dry release where you'll wake up one day and all of a sudden Gogan is out, but rather it's gonna be an iteration of multiple updates to the actual blockchain. So now as it comes to the release date that we were given in his AMA, we're looking at the end of the month as far as a concrete roadmap to be presented for Gogan. So October 29th is what was quoted in his recent update. So really cool to see that. I'm incredibly excited. There's so many things to look forward to with Cardano. Since we're talking about Yella, I wanted to go briefly into some more details explaining what it is exactly that makes Yella special. So this is an IOHK blog post from Gerard Moroni, and he actually gave some more details talking about Yella on Cardano. So now as far as what Yella is, so essentially it's a virtual machine with an attendant low level language designed to execute smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. It has been developed by Runtime Verification in partnership with IOHK, which provided funding for the project. So now how does Yella improve on smart contract platforms? So Yella is designed to meet the evolving needs of the market for smart contracts by serving as a uniform low-level platform for translating and executing smart contracts from higher level languages. It supports compilation from Solidity and many more languages are set to come. It also provides a uniform gas model across all languages. So as it comes to paying fees, you're not gonna have to necessarily go through all these different iterations of the costs involved with using that smart contract. It's actually going to be uniform across multiple different dApps. 
It also is going to make it easier to write smart contracts. Yella is correct by construction, so many errors discovered after the fact during code execution in other VMs are not possible in Yella. I know this is something that a lot of Solidity developers are having to deal with as it comes to writing the code and having to run the code and then finding out later that there was actually a bug or an error that actually could lead to some pretty catastrophic ramifications. So with Yella being correct by construction is definitely going to prove that the smart contracts being written using this framework are going to be high assurance. And lastly, by using a register-based as opposed to stack-based architecture. So now it says that Yella contains two parts, a correct by construction VM designed using the K framework and a correct by construction Solidity to Yella compiler, also designed using the K framework. So when you write your Solidity program and try to compile it using the Solidity to Yella compiler, it will catch many of the errors that previously would have been missed and that have caused many smart contracts to fail or be exploited. Now, in addition, they're saying that they also plan to deliver surface languages, allowing programmers proficient in JavaScript, Python, and other languages to have an easy way to integrate smart contracts into their applications. So really incredible. I know we're talking a lot about Plutus. I know we're talking a lot about Marlowe, but consider also that a lot of these programmers that are developing these decentralized applications on blockchain are pretty proficient in Solidity. I wanna actually show you this here. So 15 programming languages to consider for developing blockchain applications. We can see that Solidity is definitely number one as it comes to building these blockchain applications. So something like Yella, I think is really gonna be game changer as it comes to actually porting some of these Ethereum based smart contracts and dApps onto Cardano because the language that they've been written in is Solidity and to actually have that verification knowing that the application is going to run correct as it was intended to, that's really gonna be incredible. So excited about that. Also, we can see here as it comes to writing smart contracts and developing these blockchain applications, Java, Python, JavaScript, PHP. Of course, you know, we're talking about Marlowe, we're talking about Plutus. I feel like these developers are gonna have a lot of tools at their disposal when we're finally ready to start building these dApps and smart contracts. Next up, taking a look at some of these dApps that could potentially be ported over that are currently on Ethereum, and we might actually see something like what we saw with SingularityNet being in the works to be ported over to Cardano. So we can see here SingularityNet is going to be an AI marketplace. Essentially, this is going to allow people to purchase services built on blockchain that are related to AI. So as far as the value proposition for something like this and how this relates to the experience that these developers are gonna have, really incredible. I know we're talking a lot about DeFi. DeFi has definitely been the trend or the craze, so to speak, for this next cryptocurrency cycle. And it's gonna be very exciting when we actually start to see some of these bigger protocols, such as something like maybe MakerDAO or maybe even an Oracle solution like Chainlink or Uniswap, which definitely do have quite a bit of developer activity and especially some trading volume. When we do actually start to see a lot of these protocols ported over, that is when I think we're really gonna to start to see some excitement happen for Cardano. Taking a look at what DeFi really is doing for Ethereum, if we can anticipate anything, and if this is any indicator on what could potentially be to come for Cardano, we can see the amount of Ethereum being locked in the DeFi has been on a steady uptrend. So if this is any indication on what this would pose in terms of the value proposition for those holding ADA, ooh, it's, uh, it's gonna be an exciting ride. And as far as putting it all into perspective, right now the total amount of ADA stake sitting at about 53% of the total available supply. So really just trying to put things into perspective, this is definitely an exciting announcement. I'm excited about runtime verifications, partnership with IOG. I'm excited about Yella. I think this is gonna be great. And especially now that we are heading towards Gogan full steam ahead, there are gonna be so many incredible things that are gonna be available for these developers. 
All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully you did find some value from this video. If you're a developer that is excited about building on Cardano, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you all. If you guys have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please be sure to let me know as well down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like for me before you go. All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here today. Thank you all so much again, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.